Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. This one, we're in Wondershare Demo Creator 8, and I am gonna show you how easy it is to record your screen, to record your video camera, your webcam, or even your voice. In this case, we're doing it with a Mac, and I'm gonna show you if you're an educator, for example, like myself who creates tutorials, I create lessons and things like that, just how easy it is to do this. It's absolute piece of cake. So here we go. I've got Wondershare Demo Creator 8 opened up here, and you'll note that it's free to download, so go at it. Once you've got it loaded, and links in the description below, click on Video Recorder. When you do that, like I've done here, you get three options. Screen and camera, if you want to record your screen and your face, maybe you've got a webcam like I do in this case. You can also use your iPhone, which I'll show you in a second. You can just record your camera if you don't want anything on your background, which is cool too. Or you can just record your voice. So any one of these options works. So I'm going to go ahead and click on screen and camera. Let's go for the big one. We'll click on this here. Watch this. It's going to take a few seconds here. It's going to load up. And then we're going to go ahead and start recording not only our screen, but our webcam at the same time here. So here we go, we've gone ahead and loaded this up here. Top left, you'll see 1280 by 720. That is standard high definition. So just keep that in mind that if you wanna go ahead and use, you know, create videos for YouTube, this is already pre-formatted for the widescreen version. Screen and cam is selected, but you will note that I don't have a camera, and there's a reason for that. Watch this here. I'm gonna go over here to the bottom right, and you'll see this little settings button. I'm gonna click on that, and when you do that, you'll see some advanced settings. I'm just gonna go to webcam, and here's what I wanted to show you. I have no webcam set up right now, but if I wanna use my webcam, I can select FaceTime HD camera or I can select iPhone camera. So if you have an iPhone and you wanna use that, and these new iPhones are absolutely amazing, they're better than most webcams these days, you can just simply click a button, good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and select, let's go FaceTime HD camera. And then you're gonna see me with my nice big fluffy beard and my, you know, my pink face because I'm in the sunlight here. <laughs> but there you go, I've gone ahead and added that in and boom, I'm on camera. Now to go ahead and record the screen, well, let's load up a app here. So I've got Wondershare Filmora Mac open. So this is my Wondershare and it's in the background here. So maybe I wanna record myself teaching somebody how to create a tutorial. So all you really need to do is just click on this record button right here. There we go, I just closed it up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and all you gotta do, literally click on record and it's gonna do the job. Here we go. You're gonna see here that shift and command two to stop. Okay, so now literally I am recording. You'll see the flashing yellow here in the corners. Basically, we're recording our screen. I wish it was harder to do. It's not. You can also go ahead and click on pause or you can click on stop recording right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stop that recording. And that is literally it, guys. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that recording. Oh yeah, I'm gonna reopen, yeah, oops. I'm gonna take this recording right here and I'm gonna put it into the video editor and I'm gonna show you how you can take any type of recording or any video at all and use the video editor. It's fantastic, easy to use. Let's get into that next. All right, so the first step, head over to their website, democreator.wondershare.com. Links in the description, of course, and you'll see a couple of things. First off, try it for free. This is very, very important. You do not have to buy it right away. You can try it out. If you like it, get it. If you don't, so be it. Also, it works on Mac, PC, Android, etc. So just click on download and then follow the installation steps. Once you do that, you're gonna see a screen that looks just like this. And now we're gonna either record or edit. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. So we took a quick look at video recorder. It's very simple to use, but the real magic comes in the editor, in my opinion. Let's click on that here. Watch this, it's gonna load up the editor. I have already started to do some work, so I'm gonna walk you through some of the things that I've done here. And again, this is all done inherently in this product. You do not need to use any external software. If I hit play, watch this here. Let's go ahead and maybe I'll make the middle a bit bigger here just so you can see it a little better. There we go, guys. I'll hit play or space bar, watch this. Okay, so there's my video. And then look at that, I've got animated text, I've got an animated sticker, a like button, I've got an arrow that comes on its own cool little motion path there. All of this stuff is done in seconds, and again, done inside Demo Creator 8. Then, if you really wanna get fancy and you wanna use their templates, for example, maybe you're an educator, watch this. I've got an online education template that I just pulled out of the blue here, and it works perfectly. Check this out, let's hit play. Look at that here. We've got what looks like an amazing presentation, online education. We've got this pretty girl with a bulldog doing her thing. Guys, this is all literally one or two clicks, drag and drop, piece of cake. Let me show you how to do it from scratch. Let's go. All right, here we go. So we're inside the Demo Creator Video Editor. Real easy to use, guys. The first step, 
just drag and drop some footage in or click on the plus button here. I'm gonna go into my finder and then I'm gonna go into my Curtis folder and I've got a bulldog playing with a pumpkin. Just drag and drop it in there and presto, it's done, it's in the editor. Then just click on it, drag it onto the timeline, just like that. And then I am going to change the settings to match. You don't have to, but I like to do that so that it just looks like it fits. Okay, here we go. Now, there we go, we've got our bulldog chewing on a pumpkin. I'll just hit space bar and boom, he's doing his thing, playing with it, chewing on it like puppies do. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the size of the screen here. So look at this, I'm just pulling these handles. Basically, I just wanna make this a little bit bigger so that it's easier to see. So this is optional, but again, this is the way I like to do it. So I'll do something like that. There we go, yeah, something like that. Okay, good enough. Now, I'll bring the playhead back to the beginning and now watch how easy this is to edit. So I'll just zoom out a bit here. So we've got it right about there. This is the zoom button. If I only want to go up to say the first, I don't know how many seconds, let's do five seconds. We don't need the whole thing. So to trim it, I'm just gonna pull the edge just like that. It's literally drag and drop, super simple. Now we've got our five second snippet. Over on the left side, check this out here. The templates, if I wanted to make this into let's say a higher education or an online education, watch this. I can just double click on this and it's gonna go ahead and load this and then I can put this bulldog with the pumpkin into that footage. It's absolutely wild. Watch this, I'll just drag and drop that onto the timeline. Here we go, let's move it right there. And then I'll just double click on that. Now look at this here, it says online education and then it says here, drag and drop media materials to edit your video. So where is it? It's in my library, watch this. I'll drag and drop Sir Puppy in here, boom, perfect. This is a perfect template, it is professional, it's done in seconds, absolutely wild stuff. Let's go ahead and click back to the main menu. I just wanted to show you that real quickly here, so in case you just wanna get going real quick and you wanted to get some content out and you don't wanna to spend too much time you know, designing it, go ahead, it's ready to go just like that. That said, if you just wanna work on the video itself, Watch me here, I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of techniques. It'll take just a few seconds and you'll be real close to a professional video editor by the time we're done here. All right, here we go. All right, so here we go. We've got our bulldog, we got our pumpkin and life's good. Let me show you just a few other things you can do with the video editor. Again, this is part of the demo creator suite. You do not have to pay extra for this. It's part of it, it's pretty cool. So the first thing is annotations. If you're in social media and you're in YouTube, you do TikTok shorts, any of that stuff, you'll see these all over the place. Well, they've got them in here and they've got lots of them. So if I, the first one you'll see here is popular is an arrow. If I wanted to put an arrow in here, watch this. I just drag and drop it onto the timeline and here we go, hit play. There we go, we've got an arrow. Now that arrow isn't where I want it, so maybe I would double click on it like I just did there. And then I would maybe make the arrow point at his face, make it a little smaller. You guys can see here, this is how this works. It's very easy to use. Also, if I wanted to put some text in there, you guessed it, under annotations, text. I would drop this text box right into there, let's see. And if I wanted to go to the end, I just drag the handle to the end. And then watch this, I'll move it to the beginning, the arrow, and then text. So there we go, we've got some text here. Now that's not where I want the text. Maybe I want it over the pumpkin, let's say. So I'll bring it down here. And then on the right side here, under annotations, you see we've got a WYSIWYG editor here. We can change the color if I don't want white text. Maybe I want, I want green text. I don't know, I'm just having some fun. You see here, I can make all of these different adjustments very easily. I can change the font, the size, the weight, the color, if you want borders, shadows. It's all there, guys. You can have a lot of fun and get some real customization going on. Let's go ahead and delete that, but I did wanna show you that that's there. If you're into video effects, they're here too, guys. They're built in here. The one I like the most is AI Portrait. Watch this. I'm gonna drag AI Portrait right onto the Bulldog layer here. So under the main layer, I'm just gonna drag and drop it here. And then on the right side, you're gonna see we get all these cool Preset. So what it's basically done is it's pulled out the background using AI, which is of course is what my channel is all about. And then let's say I want to have this bulldog against a green, I don't know, maybe like a green board or a, a white board, whatever we want to call it. There we go. We got our bulldog against a green board. This looks like a presentation now. We've got our arrow and then we've got our green screen. We pull out the background. We got our chalkboard. If I don't want the chalkboard and maybe I want something else here, boom. There we go, now he's in some sort of cyberpunk land. It's literally one click, it's that easy. I'm going to go ahead and change that out here. If I wanna add in sound effects, you guessed it, audio effects. I mean, there's so many in here you can choose from. I'm not gonna go through them, but they're here in case you wanna go through them. 
cursor effects. This is not a screen capture. This is basically me uploading an external video. But if this was a screen capture with my mouse, you can add in cursor highlights and magnification. All of those good things are here. Pan zooms, etc. They're all here as well, guys. If I wanted to do a pan bottom to right, literally just, well, no, actually, I like the, uh, I like the zoom out. Let's go ahead and pull on zoom out. I'm just going to drag and drop it right there. Watch this. You'll see here the little purple, I guess you'll see like this little directional arrow. Let's go back to the beginning and watch this. Watch the zoom out. Look at that. We've gone ahead and zoomed it out. Now, keep in mind, I've got this crazy effect applied, but if you didn't get that effect, you wouldn't see any of the flashing there. But again, guys, transitions are here. Transitions are super popular. Same with all sorts of stickers. I mean, if you like stickers, like I want a like button here. I want you to like my... I want you to like my video. All right, so I just drop it right onto the timeline. Watch this. I'll hit, I'll hit play here, hit spacebar. There's my like button, done. If I wanna move it, maybe I wanna move it down here on top of the pumpkin. It's literally that simple. Upload my own music and effects packs. If you wanna do special effects work, it's all in here, guys. And the point of this uh, tutorial is you can record your screen, you can record gameplay, you can annotate, you can do effects, and you can do this all within Demo Creator 8. This is a fantastic program. It's free to try. Links in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.